As we proceed into the latter half of 2024, I've been thinking a lot about cybersecurity in terms of the InfoSec community, the job market, its struggles, uh, and where the industry is headed with all of these buzzwords, you know, AI hype, uh, machine learning, some of it's applicable, some of it's just hype. I thought I'd take a step back and talk about it, just maybe a few tips or pass on a few anecdotes of advice. So listed here on the screen are some of the tips that I've learned so far within my journey. Now, I will say that it is a bit comical for someone in my position to be giving career advice when I don't have 20 years of experience behind my back. Uh, so do whatever you want with this advice. It's just, just some of the things that I realize as I've mentored, been mentored, and maybe given advice to beginners in cybersecurity. So when it comes to pursuing your career path in security, it's a bit overwhelming, or it is overwhelming. It's a challenging in security-based careers, and in cybersecurity in general, it can be a challenging career. Um, so everyone has their own learning plan, their own journey. And if you talk to people who are constantly telling you how to get started in cybersecurity, they're going to give you maybe some similar advice, but also different. And what I've learned is whether it's from a mentor, a random cybersecurity influencer, you know, somebody like an industry veteran or a local community members, everyone's going to give you some advice. Sometimes it's to try to perhaps sell you on something. Other times it's altruistic in nature. But my recommendation is to be willing to listen to this advice and then adapt it to your own situation. Because your situation is going to be different than another viewer. And regarding financial time commitment, job opportunity, it, it there's different constraints. And so what I recommend is that based off of the advice you get from Google, research and build a learning plan. Uh, what you think is going to be the best route, what you think is gonna be most successful for you, whether that's pursuing a certification, going and getting a cybersecurity or computer science degree, or uh, just doing some side projects along the way. Now, when it comes to learning and approaching security, one thing that you will encounter very quickly is that imposter syndrome or feeling like you're a fraud perhaps, uh, you know, you're not qualified enough, that is a real thing. And um, basically try not to let it eat you alive because it certainly will. In times where I do feel imposter syndrome, which is mostly every day that I'm actually engaged on the job uh, or, or just engaged in life, I feel like, you know, what am I supposed to do? And I, what I try to do is like take a step back and say, okay, here's what I've learned and here's where I'm going. I'm gonna reference my notes. I'm going to continue to apply what I think is gonna be the right path for me. And look, I mean, I may not know this today, but if I can learn some, maybe something small today, it's iterative progress. And so, you know, imposter syndrome, it's gonna, you're gonna feel it's real, it's, 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 it's never ending. And that's just a, a part of life and the technology industry in general as it's continually evolving. What you realize is like, there is something you can learn learn every day. And so this provides a sense of humbleness or humility, depending on how you look at it. Um, and yes, you, you, you don't have to learn something new every day, but if you are eager or willing to learn and you want to, I guess, thrive in security, um, you know, what you'll realize is that there is stuff to learn. And I'm continually humbled by how much I don't know. You know, just try to learn from others and, and be humbled by the fact that, you know what, maybe you can share some knowledge and they can too. Uh, basically, learning happens every day and you choose whether you want that to happen or if you just want to stay complacent. And there's nothing wrong with staying complacent. I'm just saying that um, this industry has a lot of opportunity to just continually expand your skill set. So consistency is key. Be consistent with your learning plan and your efforts. Even when it's hard, try to stay consistent in the best way possible. Uh, and consistency to me really just means um, providing maybe an iterative progress of say 15 to an hour hour a day of self-learning. It doesn't have to be some long, complex eight hours of hardcore self-study. Uh, it could just be 15 minutes of reading the security news or a security-based book um, or, you know, whatever that may be. Consistency provides that sense of iterative progress. Uh, it helps you grow in your ability to retain information depending on how you approach it. And finally, Connect. Connect with the community, whether that's your local community on Discord servers. It doesn't matter, really. Make sure that you are connecting with people in your local community and networking. And, and networking in a way that you don't have an agenda to try to 
mooch off of people or get jobs. More so just being connected in the community, finding like-minded individuals, or maybe not, and, and sharing that different perspective um, is what really makes the InfoSec community unique, and I, that's what I really enjoy about this industry is the InfoSec community. As I've continued to receive some recent DMs, Discord messages of how to get started in cybersecurity or feeling defeated within this job market, which it's a tough job market out there right now, um, sometimes it's best to take a step back and see where you're going, see what you're doing, and maybe perhaps refine and implement a new strategy moving forward. So I recognize this is generic advice and um, I still have a lot to learn along the way, but these are some of the things that I've learned so far as you pursue a career in security. So best of luck to you, keep going out there, applying yourself, 